the culture is extremely different from American culture. I learned that really fast. Um, the first time I noticed that probably is, uh, well, in the MTC, they teach you. You don't just knock on the door like any normal missionary would. You just stand out like... Let's say there's a fence or something, you stand outside, and this is what everyone does. They just yell, Taupo! And it's just a, Tao means people, and so it's a respectful way of basically yelling, Taupo, Taupo, or people, people! And you wait for them to come outside, and then they'll say, Sino Yen! And then that just means, Who, who's that? Who's there? And you just tell them, oh, we're missionaries. And one thing I just adore about the Filipinos is they're, even though they're really shy, they're, they're shy to like meet new people or they're shy um, sometimes in conversation, but they're not shy when it comes to eating. Uh, you'll walk by a group of people or a family eating dinner outside or whatever meal and they'll say, Oi, sisters, kain tayo, which means come eat. And they'll just keep like being super persistent, like, come eat, come eat. And we're like, no, really, we just ate, we're fine. And like, no, come on, come eat, sisters, come on. And I love that because that just shows like how much they really love um, their fellow beings. It wasn't just with missionaries. They would say that to anyone. Or if we come in to teach a lesson and part of the family's eating dinner still we we're going to go teach an investigator. They would say that. They're like, oh, sisters, Katin Tayo. We're like, we're here to teach. It's fine. And so I love that about them. Um, one thing you don't do, definitely, when you're sitting and eating dinner, if they offer you more, just accept it. Um, they love it when you eat. Um, even if it seems like there's just a little bit of food, they're, they're very big on um, hospitality and giving. Uh, that's what they're really known for is their love and their charity towards other people. And so definitely just accept it and thank them so much for their generosity. You'll come across a lot of different holidays in the Philippines. They um, are a predominantly Catholic country. So there's a lot of Catholic um, traditions that they follow. You'll see a lot of saints everywhere. Um, obviously, as a missionary, you won't be able to participate and things like that. Um, but it's just neat. You'll be educated on that. Um, you'll see some things probably that you wouldn't expect. Like we would see parades all the time of just a ton of people walking with like candles. And I'd be like, what is, what is today? What's so special about today? And it's some like Catholic holiday or something. And, uh, let's see Christmas. Oh my goodness. Christmas is huge. So Christmas don't even plan on buying food, um, that whole week because they just feed you. You walk around on Christmas Eve and Christmas day, even new year's Eve and new year's day. And we'll get to that later, but it's just so much food. And it's, it's just so funny because it's like, they're such small little people and they're so skinny that you wouldn't expect them to like, um, just be so obsessed with food, but it's everything to them. And so on Christmas, I remember we would hop around. Our president told us to just go and kind of meet members, meet new people, you know, try to use the food aspect as a way to get into people's houses and get to know them, help them feel comfortable with missionaries. And so I just felt like I ate so much that day. I probably gained like 12 pounds in one day. We would go house to house. And because they're so generous, they're like, oh, sisters, we saved the best. Or, oh, come eat this, come eat that. And it was so fun because you're just going around meeting new people that you've never met before. And yet they're inviting you into their houses. And they're like, come eat with us. Oh, how's your Christmas? And we'd offer to share a message after. And they loved it. They absolutely loved it. Um, except for sometimes they'd be drunk and then you couldn't really share a message because they were just partying. Uh, for New Year's Eve and New Year's, you're not going to get any sleep, um, especially if you're in the city like I was, because there are fireworks everywhere. It's so fun. Um, I remember, so the, the bedtime is 1030, but we didn't get to sleep probably till like two or three in the morning. And even then you could still hear like fireworks in the background and, um, that's just another experience, a tradition that they have and they'll go and do fireworks until the point like where they're like getting hurt. Like we, we saw this one guy, he like did fireworks and it shot into this person's house. And then the next thing we know, like five minutes later, there's an ambulance coming and they haul people out and we're like, Oh my gosh. And that was just right across the street from us. So you'll get fun experiences like that too.
Okay, so it's a little different than other missions because you're sweating all the time. It's humid. Um, I know as sisters, we like to look our tip-top best all the time. Um, and it's good to try and look good, obviously. But I wouldn't worry too much about full-on makeup. Um, just something simple because it will end up melting off your face by the end of the day. You'll have sweated it off pretty much. Um, your hair is going to be crazy no matter what. They have something called rebonding in the Philippines that chemically straightens your hair because it just like turns into a frizz ball. Um, just put your hair up. You'll rather have it up to keep you cooler. Um, clothes wise. So this is where I've heard a lot of contradicting opinions before my mission. A lot of different sisters told me like, oh, we're this, we're this. It really is up to you. I've heard cotton is good because it's more breathable. But it also, when you sweat, it just stays. It doesn't dry off of cotton until you take it off. And so I didn't like that personally. There were some days I preferred to wear cotton, but it's hard because you just feel wet all the time. Um, another one, I liked a lot of sheer things. So I'm trying to think, I don't know how to explain sheer, just you know, sheer material. And um, the problem with that is it's see-through. So um, if you could find something, I went to the Sister Missionary Mall and I got stuff that um, weren't as see-through, which was really nice. Um, but sheer material is nice because the sweat just rolls right off and so it's not staying on you. The only problem is that does feel a little bit tighter and so sometimes you might feel a little bit hotter wearing that. Uh, skirts. <laughs> Be careful with your skirts. I had moments on my mission where um, I got like really light skirts because I was like, oh, okay, it's going to be hot. So lighter skirts are good. Uh, no, they're not because there are what are called storms or bagyos at uh, the Philippines and the wind will just come and lift your skirt right up. That happened to me a couple times and that was pretty uncomfortable. I had to throw those skirts away. Um, let's see. Yeah, you want probably about calf length skirts anything higher than that i know it can be to the knee but you have to take in consideration that you're going to be riding on jeepneys and tricycles and so when you do that and you're climbing in the jeepneys and stuff if you bend over it it like goes up higher and you can see stuff so i i was always most comfortable with calf length um skirts and then as for shoes when you're proselyting depending on what mission you go to even in the city i preferred to wear rubber shoes so anything from like good ballet shoes from Crocs that those were my favorite because they're breathable. Um, you don't, some sisters wore stockings or like socks. I didn't like that just because it's really, really hot and your feet smell awful by the end of the day. Um, but rubber shoes are really good. Um, you need to bring other shoes that are good for, um, like conferences because you'll have general authorities and like apostles coming and speaking to you so I had a pair of nice like leather shoes and those are actually nice sometimes during the rainy season because your feet do get kind of cold when they get wet so a good place for that would be next to the missionary mall I got my shoes there and um, there's a shoe store I think to the left of it and those lasted me my entire mission even when dogs came and ate them up um, they were really useful. Um, let's see. What other tips? Bring a lot of mosquito repellent. Sisters tend to get eaten a lot more than elders do. I don't know why that is, but yeah, your mosquitoes will definitely attack you. And I think that's it.